Welcome back. It is November 7th, 2023. It's approximately 1.20 Eastern Standard Time. You're going to hear a little squeaking. Like a little squeaking. I think I got a bad strut in my front passenger side. But my appointment's not to the 26th, so. It is what it is. I made a little Twitter post this morning about... how people perceive the world, how they internalize the world, I'm gonna call it. Because, and I don't wanna use their particular language. Um, who are there, Dave? <laughs> there, 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 there. Um, but, uh, you know, they would call it like white supremacy or normalization of, but we throw around the term inner, inner monologue a lot and inner monologue is just one way that Homo sapiens sapiens, depending on their evolutionary path is how they process, how they internalize data. And it's kind of like, uh, it kind of gets distorted over the years. I don't know if I want to go into, you know, you know, like George Bush saying that God told him to bomb because of weapons of mass destruction and going to war or whatever. And, you know, it's like, hey, George, maybe that was just your evil inner monologue. Um, but this will help. If you're an egalitarian, where you perceive that individuals are pretty much the same and it's just the surface levels that are different, and you're having complications with relationships like most of us do, or I should say, um, obstacles to overcome in relationships. Here's an obstacle that you might not see because it's um, it's an internalized processing thing. And what it is is some people have an inner monologue, and an inner monologue is similar to having a conversation or a dialogue with yourself. So I'm speaking to the camera right now and inside um, my inner monologue is pretty much a couple seconds right before I say the words I'm not exactly in the moment I'm exactly living in the future slightly time traveling as I tell the story but not everybody has an inner monologue like that they don't have words inside their head when they talk, they don't talk to themselves, so they don't per perceive the chemical reaction with inside the brain as as verbal dialogue with themselves. Some people, uh, it's like flashcards, where you know, as I would, for me, I'm mostly verbalized unless I would enhance myself uh, chemically, where in my head. I would say, I have to take out the trash today. And then I actually do then visualize my calendar. So I like kind of teleport and time travel or like I'm in two places at one, astral project myself mentally to, I'm like, look at my calendar. Okay, I should do it before this time or I can do it here. So I have two, I, gotta, I, I do visualize, but I also do in, like an internal monologue some people don't do the internal monologue they just they're looking at pictures so they're thinking about the process and how it goes how it goes through the process other people have an emotional experience so they just have that when something happens it's just chemical relations of emotions and they're just processing emotion 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 and processing emotions and more emotions and more emotions and that's how they 
understand a situation or remember it through the emotions. It's it, it's like, um, and there can be any combination of these as well. And there's probably other ones. And there's uh, people that are off of this normal, uh, let's call it a spectrum of internalization, where you know some people can like hear colors and smell sounds, <laughs> like, and obviously you can't like close their you know close off their ears you know so they can't hear anything and play a sound under the nose and they smell it but those brain patterns those chemical releases in the brain are are overlapped or crossed or work together to gather more data so they experience that internally in that particular way and once you start kind of understanding this and having some conversations with people that are available to have them, which can be diffi difficult because if you're speaking different languages, you might both be speaking English, but if you're speaking English dialogue images to somebody who's processing everything emotional and your words are creating quite a bit of visual I shouldn't say deep visual deep content that's going to be a huge and emotional journey for that person to go on and the emotions that they link that journey to in the past may have been also categorized in a file of negative so although this is not the argument that they have for IQ being discriminatory uh, I do see how some testing and some uh, IQ tests could be discriminatory because if you have somebody that pro processes data emotionally and you're giving them a you know a math and image test where they're looking at stuff they're moving around they're putting shapes together and stuff like that it's going to be really difficult for them to process that stuff uh, on an emotional level. But, so in that particular, in, in that particular situation, that individual shouldn't be categorized and at, at no situation because IQ isn't the, the end all be all. It's more of a mimicking technique and the ability to memorize um, Knowledge, which could be good or bad, uh, not necessarily extrapolate that data in all in all senses. But somebody who is emotional may be able to defer gratification better than somebody who's uh, a verbal thinker, because they've experienced uh, quite a few positive emotions on the end of a, def a gratification deferment, and that were really exciting after they withheld for a long time. So, uh, it, and deferred gratification is a much higher marker for uh, success. And then, of course, now we have to define what the success rate would be. And the success would be, um, uh, 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 like, and, and even the success markers that they, they, they deem, but one of the, the major success ones is the ability to financially sustain themselves and uh, romantically sub sustain themselves whereas this gets into another uh, I recycle it to the back this gets into another thing that I don't really want to dissect right now but that would be uh, about how it's going to be a lot of no one more um because if you have a high verbal inner monologue with logical mathematical analysis of the world, you may have uh, huge financial success and ability to navigate business and technical relationships, but an inability to uh, navigate more romantic and personal relationships uh, due to the emotional connection where you're having a tough time internalizing the emotions that the other person is 
both of the experiencing and they're having a tough time internalizing uh, the verbal dialogue that you're trying to explain to them that you're having and so picture uh, two people in a relationship and one saying what do you you know how do you feel and they say I don't feel anything I I'm thinking I want to go to the store right now and get food and the other person's like how are you not feeling anything share your feelings with me and it's like no they're literally processing that you know their internal monologue is I'm going going to the store right now to get food eat must eat and the other person is like oh what's the food gonna taste like how's it gonna, what emotions are gonna go through if it's bad then I'm gonna get this if it's this and so they're having two really extremely different uh, situations and um, this can affect work environments this can affect a cashier customer relationship um, it's going to be easier now let's get in the bigger picture if you live in a area where most people uh, evolved in a manner in which they process internal data verbally then they're going to have uh, an easier time coexisting if you live in an area where most people uh, internalize data visually again think of like maybe an art commune and then emotionally and maybe uh, it necessarily I'm not saying that it's going to be better or worse it's just going to be easier for those people because an emotional uh, place could go two two ways. An emotional place could go extremely cooperative and loving and empathetic, or it could go uh, violent, theft, stealing, anger, jumping to conclusions, reactionary. So it's not about which is better or worse. It's it's more about understanding that there is differences, and then when you're making decisions, you can you can kind of figure out if these decisions if you're figuring stuff out and when you're talking to somebody about it if you're you know say you're a verbal person talking an internal verbal person asking questions and they're responding then you feel like you're connecting and you're like you don't feel like you're in an interview and when somebody that's emotional or creative that wants to kind of just go for the with the flow and touchy feely and feel things out and they want you to like you know read their emotions they're gonna feel like oh that's an interview and so you can get uh, uh, difficulty in friendships relationships like I said cashiers quick meetings long-term meetings family members um, but Anyways, just some thoughts, some food for thoughts, or some images for your thoughts, or some feelings to dwell upon. <laughs> However you're processing this. And since I verbalized this, you know, I would expect that the comments would be a mixed batch of, you know, people that are also verbalizing it along with me immediately responding understanding it commenting people that have to visualize it might need to sit back sit down and just kind of reflect on it and kind of like you know go through some visual scenarios in this head and then people that are emotional might be going on a crazy ride right now uh good or bad of the data that i'm presenting and it could take you know multiple times of seeing a uh, a discussion or a lecture or topic about this for them to uh, process it or if they've had negative experiences that that pile up so much emotionally with topics like this they might not ever be able to get themselves where the position because they can process it so that it feels like uh something that's good so all right i'm at my destination i think that's enough what do we got 14 minutes Bam! take care